Hi everyone and welcome back to Tweensy. I'm Lauren and today I'm going to show you how to make pony bead dragonfly keychains. Let's get into it. For today's craft you're going to need a scissors from home and your cup of supplies. To start take your cord out and sort the colors of beads. You're going to have two black ones for eyes and you're going to have two different colors. You're going to have more for your wing color and less for your body color. To start, grab your cord and fold it in half so that the ends are right next to each other and stick those ends right through the loop of the keychain. We're going to tie a knot on it so that your dragonfly doesn't fall off. The easiest way I found was to stick the two ends through the keychain and stick your hand through the loop of the cord and then pull the ends through the loop and use your other hand to hold the keychain. Just like that. So to start, you're going to lay out your keychain and your cord just like this and grab one of your body colors. Take the bead and rest it in the middle of your workspace. You can slide both ends of the cord through in opposite directions. So you're sort of making an X with the cord through the bead and then you can pull it tight all the way up to the keychain. If your keychain is sliding around too much, you can grab a piece of tape and stick it down. Grab the two black beads and it's time to make the eyes. Same thing, you're just going to take the cord and go through opposite directions. Make sure you get through both beads with both ends of the cord, and then pull it tight. Take two more of your body color and do the same thing. To make the first set of wings, you're going to need nine beads of your other color, and then slide all of those onto one side of the cord. It's going to be a little different than the way we were attaching the other beads, but I'll show you how it's done. So put nine beads on each side. Once it looks just like this, you're going to take the cord and go back through your body beads again. It's kind of tricky because there's a lot of cord going through those beads, but I think you'll be able to figure it out. Leave it a little loose, it'll be easier to work with, but do this on both sides. Now it's time to tighten it up. So you can pull it, and you might have to pull it in different directions so it gets nice and tight, but you're going to want to make the cord tight between the eyes and the body, but a little bit loose in the wings. So once you pull it tight like that, you can take it and kind of bend the wings so that they're really long, and then grab your next two body pieces.
wheels are on, it's time for the next set of wings. These have 11 beads each. So count out 11 beads for one side, and then the rest of them should be for the other side. as before and get the cord back through the body. Once you've done that, it's time to finish up the body. To do that, you're just going to make three more rows of two beads. with five rows of two, you're going to use the last four and put them on individually to make the long skinny tail. to tie it off. Tie it just like you would your shoe without the bow. I did about four knots, but you can do whatever you think will keep it on. You want to make the knot nice and tight. You can trim the excess cord, but don't trim it too short. Make sure you leave a little bit so that the cord doesn't slip through the knot. And there you go, your pony bead dragonfly keychain is done! Thanks for joining me today to make these super cool dragonfly keychains. Make sure to tune in two weeks from now to make peg doll fairies. See you then!